I'm Rooster Collins. This is my wife, Jill. We are uh, here at Overland Expo. This is our trailer uh, that we live in uh, when we're off-roading. It's uh, Backroads Overland Company trailer. We're here to take a tour. Come on, take a look. This is our kitchen galley. One of the things that we loved the best about this trailer. It has uh, all kinds of drawers that slide out, lots of storage, place for our gas stove, sink, utensil area underneath the sink uh, here. One of the nicest things that we really enjoy about this, one of the things my wife, Jill, fell in love with, look at this spice rack. Whoa. You don't see that very many times on an Overland trailer. Have a freezer fridge, dual capacity. You can choose each side. Um, this could be freezer, this could be fridge, either or self-directing there. It's got the Red Arc power management system here. Perfect table, LED lighting underneath. We have lighting here, LED lighting all the way around. Uh, plenty of storage for all the camping equipment, utensils, your your kitchen supplies, your your dishes, your cast iron skillets, anything you want to need, that's what we have. We have an overhanging um, utensil bag. It's covered by our awnings, uh, so we stay dry if it, it is raining like it was the other day. This is our setup. We're very, very happy with it. I love to cook when we're out camping. Uh, the other morning we had French toast, sausage. We cooked uh, chicken breast that was stuffed with asparagus and cheese. My wife cooked that the other day. Uh, last night was steak. Uh, Jill, why don't you come join us? Uh, so uh, it's steak and uh, five cheese, uh, mashed potatoes, I think, last mm -hmm. night. Yes. Um, you know, anything from uh, cooking that or steak to go. Steak and shrimp fajitas. Steak and shrimp fajitas the other morning, or the other night. Uh, the I mean, we just enjoy cooking. It, it gives us time to, to try new things. The trailer, the frame, everything is built by aluminum. Um, the only thing that's not aluminum is the the XT independent suspension. That is obviously uh, a dual shock uh, system, independent suspension. And we are, uh, it, it does run on the same size wheels as a Toyota. Uh, they are 17 inch tires off-road uh, capability it does have independent suspension so it it articulates just like uh, a jeep or an off-road vehicle and we've had it on on a trail it uh, tows and and drags just right behind the vehicle uh, it articulates over the rocks and none of these trails are are extreme jeep trails but we've taken it up some uh, some trails that even shot me so it it doesn't have a boundary um, the, the back roads, the, the name of the company, Back Roads Overland, strictly back roads. I mean, you, you can take it anywhere on the back road. The trailer company, Back Roads Overland, um, the gentleman that uh, started the company, uh, he's a young man. Uh, I liked the story. He uh, learned how to weld when he was a, a little kid from his granddaddy and started building trailers, designing trailers as a teenager. Um, he's out of Missouri, uh, so everything on the trailer, as far as it being built, it is built in the United States. There are some products on the on the, the trailer that come out of from Australia. The suspension, the um, uh, articulating hitch setup, right here the hitch. It's a pin setup. It articulates to where it swivels if you're going up and down trails. And it also pivots up and down so while you're going on on trails um, it pivots here it's it operates just like a king pin uh, it's like an 18 wheeler so it's pinned in with a hitch that's on the back of the vehicle that looks just like that instead of a regular ball hitch when you're off-road there's less restrictions uh, and, and boundary limits when you're articulating going on those trails and your vehicle may be going up one obstacle and your your trailer is still on the obstacle behind it. So the trailer and the and, and the tow vehicle 
maybe at different increments on an obstacle. Mm -hmm. And those particular, the independent suspension, the hitch style, mm -hmm. it all articulates together, works very well, and gives you the capability of going up off-road trails up into, into secluded areas you can't get to with a regular RV. The, the trailer does come with a spare tire. It uh, is a full-size spare that matches the, the other. So it's an identical wheel and rim uh, and tire combination. Um, they, that, that is a standard option. Um, all aluminum frame, all aluminum body, very lightweight. I believe the dry weight on this is a, a about 27 to 2800 pounds dry weight, fully loaded. Uh, we're just right at 3200 pounds. That was is with all of our gear, two extra coolers, um, all of our food in the refrigerator, our personal clothing and, and things of that nature, camp chairs, uh, and, and we carry our service dog with us too. So um, everything included. We're, we're just right at 3,200 pounds. Our typical tow vehicle is a, a full-size Super Duty Ford truck. Uh, today, uh, on this weekend, we're actually towing it with a, uh, a 2011 F-350, but our typical tow rig is our Expedition vehicle. It does not have a truck cap. It's got the, a roof, or a, um, a, a bed rack system, and it's an F-250 Super Duty diesel. Uh, so suspension motor-wise are, are the exact same. Performance-wise, getting on and off-road, it is a full-size vehicle, so we're limited to some of the trails. Um, but we also have a Jeep. Our Jeep can tow this just fine. Um, we choose on long travel. We choose to take the Super Duty with a diesel uh, for long traveling trips, uh, just for fuel mileage and performance. Uh, it performs a lot better than the Jeep JKU that we have. Uh, we'll tow this just fine. It, tows it up the trails just fine. Uh, but going down the highway, we find that the Super Duty does just a little bit better as far as our performance. So this rack that's right behind the spare tire, it's above our storage box. Our storage box has uh, things that are inside it, uh, the power management system, the Red Arc power management system. It's got the lithium batteries. It's got uh, all of the inverters, AC to DC to, to solar uh, inversion. So all the power management is right there. The rack above it comes in really convenient. Uh, this weekend, we have two uh, coolers up on top of it. Um, there are weekends that we've utilized um, this with a rack of logs, wooden logs when we can camp and when there's not burn bands or in a camping facility that, that uh, will allow us to, to have fire pits going on. Um, when we tie things down, very easy strap points because of all the the laser cut, uh, I don't know, I, I guess the laser cut points in here where we strap things down with ratchet straps and, and tie downs, bungee cords. Um, <clears throat> on the other side, we have full storage. And uh, we're going to try not to disturb the puppy here, but uh, uh, right here, it's a, a full rack slide out. We've got two front runner boxes stacked up on top of one another. They have uh, some storage in them that we utilize for ropes, stakes, bungee cords, things of that nature, um, recovery equipment. And then the inside, uh, it might be very, very hard to, to see, but inside down low, let me take this down low, it, there's just enough room to put flat like tarp areas and things like that that don't interfere with the rails we've got fire starters down there and extra cleaning towels or drying towels if we need them uh, for the for the camper itself um, awning tie down ropes and that <clears throat> utilizes back there uh, and plenty of storage there so inside the vehicle one of the things as we get into the vehicle what we've done that uh, wasn't done when we built the trailer. We've gone ahead and put standing mats up on top and we screwed them into a nut cert that, that uh, we did just so that we have a little bit of knee pad uh, as, we, as we get in. It's not metal on our knees. We've got a little knee pad. Um, 
uh, I think what we're going to convert to is a, a ski boat style cork um, uh, product uh, eventually. But for now, these work excellent. So it's an easy um, modification. We have two 270 degree Taruka awnings. These are their Taruka brand, but they were on their their model prior to being called Taruka. It's called their Bushwhacker brand. But the, the Taruka awnings, um, they have poles that come down for support that twist and stake into the ground. And then you have grommets here to where you can tie them down and wind. Um, this to drain any water uh, in encapsulations. Uh, LED lighting on top that plugs in and there's on off switches to plug that in we have Anderson cables that are very easy plug-ins right here so the wires to plug those in are our di quick disconnect Anderson uh, cables and uh, that keeps us out of the the elements that keeps us so out of dry from the, the rain uh, and shaded from the Sun uh, some of the other features that we liked, uh, one of the other features, primarily four corner camera system. Each corner of the vehicle has a camera system on it. And you would think that uh, the, I'm, I'm turning on some electricity here. Um, we've got uh, All kinds of, of the Red Arc power management system. Of course, we've been here four and a half days, so we're low on battery, low on water. Um, those are our, our readouts there. One of the nice things that we find, uh, if somebody's left at base camp, what we use, utilize this trailer for is base camp. So if some, me and my friends or whatever, whoever's left at base camp can be in contact with those of us that are either out off-roading uh, or on the side-by-sides or either hiking and we have GMRS radios. That's a Midland GMRS radio And it is our base camp radio. So we can stay in contact two and a half three four miles out uh, With one another with this Midland. This is a uh, it's a 115 model um, I believe it's a 115 XT the range on it is probably a good solid two and a half miles three miles It's a five watt radio um, we can be out either on hiking uh, with walkie talkies um, or we can be in a vehicle, our Jeeps, our vehicles, my truck, uh, every single vehicle that we have have uh, GMRS radios in them. Uh, different, different vehicles have different uh, models of, of the Midland, but they all run Midland uh, radios. So we're very happy with the Midland um, radio. It, it reaches out as far as it is we've ever needed it to um, to make contact it helps dinner's ready chow's on it helps uh, hey we've got uh, a problem with a vehicle we need uh, rescue um, or hey we're coming down a mountain storms coming radars you know weather radars hitting you need to be aware so things of that nature it it, it allows us to communicate with whomever we're camping with it's not just us, if we're camping with friends, we all run GMRS Midland radios. As I mentioned before, each corner of the, the trailer has a four security camera, a security camera outside. They're infrared, so they do light up at night, but this is what they look like on the screen inside the, inside the, uh, the sleeping area. And each camera uh, has at each corner. And one of the reasons that I like that is if we're out and about in the wilderness, if we hear some rustling and bustling, I sure would hate to uh, to get out of the camper thinking that it might be a raccoon and it wind up being a, a bear. So one of the reasons that we like that is we can easily view it from the inside before we get into a situation on the outside. Hello. So our storage compartment that we have is very ideal. It is very large. As you can see, I have nine of these foldable, um, collapsible baskets that we use. And then we've got an area where we can put our frog togs hats, 
um, our extra blankets, shoes, and then also our Demer, um, Demos light fits down inside of here as well. But if you have lots and lots of storage that we can roll up our clothes and put and tuck all inside of here to go out. And here's our, our nice dry wick towels that are fast and easy to pack. And our emergency kit is in the, right there, easy handy to grab. And here's our Demos, Devos light also that's right there and convenient. Thank you for letting us show you our Overland Vehicle Home on Wheels and watch us on Waypoint Overland TV.